Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. I just want to share this little project that I whipped up with you guys. Figured you might be interested. So one of the things that I did is I created this sort of universal base, if you will, uh, in OpenSCAD. And then the idea is, is I can subtract various centers. And I'll do, I'll do a couple videos on this, sort of Saturday bonus videos for you guys um, on this. And, and so one of the things, I've got this older exacto knife that's been laying around my shop for years i've got younger grandkids i don't you know when they come around the shop i don't want to have to worry about it so one of the things i did is i whipped this up and kind of long story short i took this universal base and you can see the bottom is is bigger than the the main core of the object so it's not tippy and then i subtracted out designed up in uh, tinkercad um uh, you know, basically a mock-up of the X-Acto knife, and then it sits in there, and it just sits on the desk like this. So the blade is protected, and uh, you know, it's a uh, pretty cool. Now it's a little bit tight fit on the blade. I think the one I'm going to upload to Thingiverse, I'm going to make the the blade opening a little bit bigger, because what it does is it uh, it's actually got a little bowl shaped. I've actually modeled uh, the end of this X-Acto knife, and it goes down to about the uh, gnarlings here, and it kind of sits in there. And uh, again, you can just pull it out like that and it sits on your desk and you need it, you can take it off. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. So I think these are going to be handy for uh, various types of projects. Like I say, next um, in my next Saturday bonus video, I'll have another one of these that I designed up for something else. Because again, one of the things I like having organization around the shop, well, I'm, t I'm terrible at applying it. I like the idea of it. And um, actually, I'm pretty good at applying it. just lack the time because I'm always making something to organize, right? So it's kind of a conundrum. But anyways, I'll have this out on Thingiverse if you find it interesting. And I'll put the um, uh, generic model out on Thingiverse so you can take it into Tinkercad. Now, uh, I'll forewarn you, since I did this nowling on it, it, it is a pretty complex model. And it do will take longer to print than smooth sides because this has a ton of surface area. However, the other thing while I'm thinking about it, uh, obviously, as you notice in the corner, I've put some time lapses of it being printed on, on the GTEC uh, E180. And I tell you, that, that printer just really amazes me. And the quality of this dome is, is basically perfect. So I've been really impressed with its output. I, I did have a little bit of burning. I've got a little bit from being in the basement. Um, moisture buildup in that filament. So I get, had, do have a couple burn spots, but that's, you know, the filament, not the printer. And again, I'm just really amazed at the precision and quality. So anyways, just kind of want to share this. I'll have the link on Thinkiverse to this down below. Uh, if you think of any other ideas that I can come up with for this uh, generic base, let me know in the comments below. And uh, hey, I may build it and put it on a Saturday bonus video. So thumbs up, swag shop, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys next Saturday. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel. Projects.